Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, another reaction to Hua Chen Yu as we continue on with his journey on The Singer 2020. This is episode two, and he will be performing Bullfighting, which is one of his original songs, and I'm excited to hear it today. Let's jump right in. I love this. He's down with his horns as the bull here, Murr, I guess is uh, one of the sounds a bull makes. Uh, it said uh, lowing or the mooing. And so this is so cool. Down in his lower voice here, though. Almost a glottal fry going on down there in certain parts of, of the melody line here, if you will. But very low in his voice, but a very cool start to this song. <laughs> Love the brightness. Wow. I always love hearing his performances. And this is another song. It almost reminds me of Nunchucks, the way the different sections are so different from each other, varying in style and timbre of these different sections for his voice. And such a cool dynamic that he gives all of these performances when he does this. Of course, we had the first section that I stopped and talked about. And then the second section was a very bright vowel with a rock edginess there that flipped up into head voice just once or twice. And now we're into this more almost legitimately sung section. I'm getting a bit of his voice that I recall like in the, the song Child in this part. Uh, you know, just a very different feel. So we're almost three sections into this, and he's giving us three different performance qualities, if you will. He is such a star, you guys. It is so impressive. <laughs> I love the call he's giving certain vowels here. Love this driving beat as well in this section. This song has great lyrics as well. Certain parts are just cool, certain words are very, certain phrases are very poignant, and which is typical of all of his performances. He really puts so much thought 
and preparation into these performances on top of his natural, innate, God-given talent. He is truly a superstar on the stage. And again, the singer is just so well produced. Everything from the instrumentalists backing him up here, the lighting, the crowds into it, the competitors are reacting backstage. I love this show. There are a bit of copyright issues recently. If you'll notice, there aren't very many reactions to Singer 2020 up on YouTube right now. And so I will fight for our rights to be able to review these songs and feature these songs on the channel through fair use copyright laws. So the video may appear and it may go away for a little bit, but I will fight to get it back. Um, this is so well done, you guys. <laughs> I just love this song so much already. And I know that he had put this out prior, but I had not heard a lot of this song, just a little bits and pieces here and there. And so I am so impressed with seeing the full version. And of course, he likes to change things up for this show. And so I am sure that's what's happening for this live performance here as well. But I love that in that second section, we'll call it, he allows the rock edginess to come into some of, one note in particular of the phrase in his upper chest voice as it ascends there. But then when it ascends there the second time, maybe just a little bit higher, he allows that note to be in a more head voice or mixed quality, just really changing that up. And then now into this, what I'll call the third section, it's just really some beautiful singing. The vowel comes to the front of his mask just a bit, giving us a little bit of nasal at times. To me, just signature wah wah singing. I love it. beautiful transition segment here a segue from different sections of the song wow and then it said that was a pre-recorded segment of his voice up in a very nice head voice almost a counter tenor register there i am continually shocked when i see him perform and then singing a bit of a duet with his pre-recorded voice giving us some uh some dramatics here with ripping off of the necklace and this wonderful focused red lighting on the center of the stage. Such an excellent performance. And of course, they're very mesmerized backstage too. It's almost an ethereal sound in this section. And I believe this is uh, Misha from Japan on the right here. And I'm looking forward to being able to react to some of her songs as well. I love this program, you guys. They love it. They 
nice crescendo throughout that note. Very cool lighting in this section. Love the snare drum as well. impressive of a different section what i'm thinking this is like section five we'll call it of this song of just a very different feel of course he started with a a very low rap like quality this was up in his upper chest voice rap here a little bit quicker the lyrics were flying by for me but they were so cool and so well done and then he gave us a nice rock edgy scream right there at the end just pouring out the emotion as he always does <sighs> a superstar you guys so incredible he is a great performer <laughs> they love it. He's so dramatic and then he breaks character a bit and then that beautiful smile comes in there. He is such an incredible performer. We knew that, but another great week for him on The Singer. And I know in real time that we're several weeks into it, but as I mentioned, due to copyright issues, my featuring of this current version of the singer could be delayed on the channel but we'll get there these performances are too good and i want to feature at least a couple of other singers from this as well so i am excited about that whenever it happens whether that's immediate or in the future i hope you all enjoyed this reaction if you did please click like and hit subscribe leave me a comment down below and click the bell so you know when i'm releasing new content I've also left links to my social media and my Ko-fi page if you're able to support me there or share on your social media. I would truly appreciate that. But as always, have a great day.